guys. Heading back to our menu series 1 through 24 of our 2018 data production rations. We are looking at menu number 7. Brisket entree gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices. Key Rice. Can we make these names more complicated if possible? Essentially, this is beef brisket in gravy. Again, this is from Sopaco, as all of the rations through menus 1 through 12. It's got our peelable seal. Hopefully, we can open it. Try to see, man, and this is what I'm talking about. All right, we're going to definitely use a knife. Oh, I tell you. Just put your thumbs in it and pull it apart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, now we got that travesty out of the way. Let's take a look and see what we got. Here's our beef brisket and gravy. Oh, man. Sneak peek. Oh, gratin potatoes. Blackberry jam. That is our potatoes. And again, you can see all the ingredients and nutrition facts. I mean, really? Look at all those ingredients for just potatoes with some cheese on them. I know it's all fortified and everything, but... Toffee rolls, so these are Tootsie Rolls. Cranberries Osmotic. Ingredients and nutrition facts for our beef brisket, or brisket entree. Jeez, crazy. Irish cappuccino instant powder. Interesting. Peanut butter, go along with our blackberry jam. Accessory packet, MRE spoon. Wheat snack bread, <sighs> FRH. Let's take a look what we got inside of this. And this one's accessory pack of B. We've got some gum, salt, moist towelette, our little beverage, toilet paper. And what is this? Beverage based raspberry type three. And if any of you out there attended that Emory meetup that they had in Simpsonville, Kentucky, Rocky, Rocky Rab put on a clinic for the proper way to use an FRH. So I'm going to try to mimic his exact instructions on how to best heat a ration. Okay, by the steps using the RAB method, we're going to use an ounce and a half of water. We're going to take our salt packet. About a third of the packet is going to go into the water. What we're going to do is make a nice saline solution, so just swirl that around, stir it up, do what you need to do, just make sure that all of that salt absorbs into that water. Because it's actually this water or the salt solution that activates the magnesium inside of these FRHs. Now step two is going to be preparing our FRH. We're going to remove the top and we are going to slide it directly into our cardboard sleeve, making sure that the heating elements are in the middle of this sleeve. Step three, we're going to place our food between the ration FRH and our cardboard sleeve. This will aid us later on in being able to turn the ration and heat the other side. We're going to do the same with our au gratin potatoes. Slide it directly on the other side of the cardboard sleeve, making sure that it is in the middle of the heating elements. Step four, now that we've got all this stuff right where it needs to be, we're going to take our ration heater, our FRH, with our salt water solution and pour it directly into the FRH. And just lay it flat. Let that whole FRH pad get immersed. We don't even need a rock or something. We're just going to lay it flat, just like Rocky does it. Now I'm beginning to feel the FRH start to activate. Now step five is to use something to insulate and keep the heat inside. He recommends something Mylar, so that's exactly what we're going to use. We're going to repurpose this Mylar bag. Halfway through the 15 minutes, we're going to open this up and flip our main and our side so we heat the other side of the ration. Okay, we're counting down to the last couple seconds. What we're going to do, it's been eight minutes. We're going to flip these over when this hits, and that's close enough to me. 
and it is nice and toasty I will have to admit you can see a lot of steam has come out and all we're going to do is just flip these directly over because one side is kind of warm and one side is kind of cooler just slide that Silence. all the way and there's a text Silence. perfect timing and we're going to flip over our au gratin potatoes as well Ah, a little bit of water leakage, but that's okay. And we will wait an additional seven minutes. And while we're waiting on an FRH, let's get the drinks made and we'll get stuff plated. You've all seen me made drinks before. This just calls for six ounces of water and of course this one calls for 20. So I'll make that and we'll get stuff plated and then we'll start chowing down. I still don't know why they use this stuff, but it's what we got. Okay, mine didn't turn out as pretty as Rocky's did at his clinic, but it feels warm. The stuff is toasty, so I will give him props for that. Look at that, man. This is why this needs some, like, legit bread, not this wheat snack crap bread. This is actually a generous portion, too. Wow. Okay, I'm impressed. Then the all rotten potatoes. Nice and cheesy, yummy, gooey. And they are toasty. So I think, Rocky, you were definitely on to something, man. I'm so glad that... Uh, our Canadian buddy Smitty was gracious enough to film that clinic that you put on. That is awesome, guys. Thank you very much. And I hope you guys out there use this tip as well. Well, before this stuff starts cooling off, man, and, and we ruin all of that prep time for heating, let's look at this beef entree sliced brisket and gravy seasoned blah, 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 blah. Let's just give it a taste. Look at that stuff. Man. I think the seasoning compote is salt. Man, this stuff is salty. Ah, oh, that is kind of a letdown. That is kind of a bummer. You definitely have to have something to cut down that salt. Ah, oh, that is a bummer. But you can see the beef itself, the brisket, it's nice and tender. It's very thin cut. It is delicious, I will say that. Just that salt content, man. There's a lot of sodium. Yeah, looking on here, it's kind of hard to see, but like 1,590 milligrams of sodium, which is 66% of your daily recommended intake for sodium, at least for like FDA. But I agree with it. That is salty. Look at our au gratin potatoes. Or back in the day when I was in, they were the rotten potatoes. I would say they could be seasoned with a little bit of pepper, maybe a hint of salt, but with all the salt on this, it almost seems like that would be a crime to do that. But what we'll do, we'll take a little bit of our au gratin potato, maybe, if it'll stay on the spoon, and a little bit of our gravy, because we know this definitely has salt in it. We'll try that. All right, that works. That's good. So these two, they go together awesomely. But then we've got this PB&J 
One of these things is not like the others. One of these things doesn't belong. And then we've got our cranberries, osmotic. These are always good for just a different texture, a chewiness, and acidity factor. Mmm. Good and chewy, permeates your mouth. You get all of that good cranberry flavor. Our Tootsie Roll. These things are awesome, man, if you've got bad dental work because it'll pull a filling directly right out of your face, which is always a good thing when you're in the Army, because the Army has the best dentist on the planet. Guaranteed. And yes, that is sarcasm. Grab a little bit of our Toffee Roll, and we'll give that a go. And hopefully, none of my fillings come out. <laughs> it just makes me laugh, man, when people say, I mean, they, the, the military provides you with three square meals a day, a place to live, Blah, 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 free medical care. Well, the medical care ain't all that great all the time. Housing, wow, that can be questionable. And the food, yeah, top-notch, first-class, five-star every day. Not complaining, just being a realist. If I got this out in the field, I would definitely save up my packet of crackers, crumble it into this gravy, to make a nice, thick kind of a stew. But I digress. This was menu number seven. Let's see if I can say this in one word. Well, not one word. One run-on sentence. Brisket entree gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices. Man, that is a mouthful. Here we go. Menu number seven from Supaco. Thanks for joining, everybody. And I will see you all for menu number eight or another upcoming review. Bye.